welcome back or welcome to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title today i will be sharing with you guys my postpartum update so i am currently five months five months i wish five weeks postpartum um my baby just turned five weeks on saturday today is tuesday so i wanted to go ahead and do this that way i you know you guys can kind of follow the videos um every month as i go along within my postpartum journey and just learn some things that i did not know so i'm really just going to be going over some things that i've experienced um throughout my postpartum journey so far and just a few things that i learned that nobody told me would happen um so honestly the first thing that i would say is um intimacy is tough um i didn't know that postpartum causes you to not want to be touched not want to be bothered like that kind of thing um it's like you are getting so used to the things that are going on or you're trying to get used to the things that are going on in your body and um it just becomes a lot you know you do want to cater to your significant other and whatnot but honestly in this time you come first girl you showing me girl so um basically the issue that i had been having is just wanting to like cuddle at night or you know just um giving my husband a kiss or you know showing um verbal love like things like that it's just like i literally this did not want to be bothered like at all and i know it's it sounds bad but it's like once you push out a baby it's like your whole body your whole mind everything just like resets and you are getting used to yourself again you're getting used to catering to a little human 24 7 and then you also have to cater to your significant other as well so you know you kind of have a lot of things going on and it's just a lot um i actually had to like sit down have a talk with my husband and kind of just tell him everything that was going on with me we kind of um talked and he told me what he felt like he was missing I told him what I was going through and didn't feel like I should be giving him that. And it was just a whole thing. I mean, I'm just being completely honest. Um, so that was thing number one. Just honestly not wanting to be bothered by anybody. Not wanting to be touched. Not wanting to be, you know, that kind of thing. Um, next, I would say is really just trying to get used to and adjust to your body. Um, I'm honestly still not used to what I'm looking at right now um just because you know you were used to what you were like before you were pregnant then you get pregnant and you have to get used to this big old belly on you for 10 months and then it's like after that goes away then your stomach literally just deflates and it becomes a big saggy jiggly balloon that's honestly what it is so um you know getting used to that honestly is just trying to become confident again you know wearing things and not worrying about how you look just because you know that um your body is constantly changing just because you are still going through postpartum um you know at five weeks your uterus still isn't back down to its normal size like going through things like that so um i honestly just kind of feel like uncomfortable with myself I guess like there's a lot of stuff that I still can't fit you know from when I was um when I wasn't pregnant before so honestly right now all I've been wearing is like pajamas like um joggers tights t-shirts things like that just because you know they're stretchy and they fit to size um I actually did get a postpartum belt to wear um that I wear probably literally once a week um, it's supposed to help with your muscles to kind of come back together um, so that your stomach kind of goes down, you know, better, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, my mama, my granny, everybody told me to get it, so I got it. Um, and I wear it sometimes, but honestly, I don't see a difference. Um, so, yeah. Body. Just really getting used to your body. Um, third, I would say um, is just the way you look in general, I just feel really, I don't want to say I feel gross, but I just do not feel like myself, you know, like, honestly, you have no time to yourself because you're always catering to your baby. So my legs, my shave, my hair isn't done. Y'all can see I'm giving y'all completely natural today. I literally have on a t-shirt and some sweatpants. 
and you know it's like as long as she's put together as long as she said then that's good you know sometimes you go two days without taking a shower because you just started work from home you are consistently breastfeeding you still have to take care of your household clean up in your house make sure you make dinner make sure that you eat because you're breastfeeding if you don't eat then she doesn't eat so it's just a lot mentally and physically um that's why it is good to make sure that you have that moral support but also physical support um, making sure that you have someone to talk to because postpartum depression is real i have not gone through it i wouldn't say that i'm experiencing any um symptoms of postpartum depression however um you know i can see where it comes from because it's just a lot to handle so next i would say is just getting used to i apologize about her eating noises y'all she going in um i would just say getting used to your baby's schedule um as a newborn obviously they don't have a set schedule so you're on their schedule so whenever she wants to eat i have to get up to feed her um at night you know whenever she wakes up i'm up with her so it's just that kind of thing i actually just started back working this week um and i'm working from home so it's not too big of a deal um but it is just still kind of tiring you know when you go to bed around 10 o'clock you wake up maybe four times a night and then you have to wake up at eight o'clock in the morning to be ready for work it's just you know your body is exhausted your mind is exhausted so you're just constantly trying to just maintain your calm you know because these are things that happen and obviously your baby's going to eventually grow out of it and start to sleep longer so you just kind of look into the future and just focus on the positive side of things and not how things are right now another thing that i would say um is breastfeeding i know every mom doesn't breastfeed and you know as long as your baby's fed that's all that matters but um to my breastfeeding moms out there um i did do a video on breastfeeding if you guys want to check that out i'll leave that in the description box um but just honestly staying patient with breastfeeding um you know the long nights and things like that you can pump to um have your significant other kind of help you out with feedings during the night however my goal and what i want to do is actually exclusively breastfeed so i wasn't going to pump at all in the beginning um i was just going to you know strictly breastfeed but you know when your baby is away from you it is kind of hard to do that she isn't going to be leaving my side for a long time um but for right now when we're at home when we go places and i'm with her you know i do exclusively breastfeed um however i did just start pumping to build up my freezer stash just a slight freezer stash to um be able to take two people's houses like whenever she goes somewhere you know she goes to her grandparents or her godparents or things like that so i um when i say i just started i mean i have like three or four bags but honestly it's something if you want to breastfeed it does take a lot of dedication and it does take a lot of time but honestly it's honestly going to be worth it in the end um i do plan on breastfeeding for at least a year so we'll see how that goes but i really am going to put my mind to it and try to get it done um, so I didn't really want to make this a video that's super duper long, um, but as you guys know, I am only a month postpartum, so I haven't really gone through everything yet, but um, I do want to talk about the bleeding aspect. Um, so in the hospital, I really only bled heavy for two days, so they give you those real big diapers, the big, big pads and you probably wear those. I mean, everybody is different, but for me, it was only for two days. Um, and then I actually switched to the always diapers that I had. Um, those were a lot more comfortable and um, easier to change. You know, whenever you go to the restroom, just use your diaper. So I have a few products um, that I was given by the hospital that I wanna show you guys that were lifesavers to me when I was going through the painful part of postpartum. Um, as you guys know, I did not tear, but I was cut. Um, and it was basically equivalent to a second degree tear. So that is from under your vagina to like right before your butt. So it was hard to stand up. It hurt to sit down. It hurt to go over bumps. Um, it hurt to get out the bed. Like it was tough in the beginning. 
um, just going through that pain and then still having to cater to her, um, it was kind of a struggle. Um, I had to get help to stand up all the time, like things like that. And honestly, that pain didn't start, stop, I mean, until about three weeks ago. So, um, these are the few products that I have to share with you guys. Um, I did use the tux pads also, but I did not like them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they kind of move and they get, just sit up there. I don't like that. So I just didn't use, but the Dermaplast spray is your best friend. Um, it feels so good spraying that on your pain down there. Um, just because it's like, it's throbbing, it's sore, it's swollen, it's, yeah, it's a lot going on down there. So just that cold spray being sprayed down there, it feels really good. Um, so I use that and then I also use the Always pads. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second. Those are some really good high absorbency pads. Um, but like, if you don't like pads like me, um, I do like a thinner pad. I don't like those pads. I feel like diapers. Um, that always pad is a foam pad, so it does absorb a lot, but it's really thin. So I started at a size five, which is the heaviest flow, and I'm currently at a size two, which is still a heavy flow, but it's way lighter than it was. Um, so I use that, and then the always discreet diapers, I use those for about two weeks um, just because the diapers were easier than the pads just to kind of like throw on and take off um, they were easily like disposable um, and things like that so let me go get the items and show you guys really quickly and also going to go put her down because she is knocked out and I'll be right back okay so now I'm just going to show you guys um, all the items that helped me through postpartum so um First, just to let you guys know, always ask the hospital for any and everything that you need because they do have it and they will give it to you. Um, I was going to go buy this $100 Freedom Moms um, postpartum kit and I'm so glad that I didn't because the hospital literally gave me everything that I needed. So first to start off is the hospital period bottle. So it looks just like this. Um, I used this while in the hospital and honestly it wasn't terrible and it really 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 does help um, as you guys know with being cut or having stitches or um, getting t torn whatever it whatever the situation um, you can't wipe down there so this becomes your best friend um, you fill it up with warm water I like it a little bit hotter than warm not hot hot but warm warm <laughs> and um, spray that down there so instead of using this one when I came home, I actually did get the Freedom Moms um, Peri Bottle gifted to me. So I used this one because it is angled and honestly, it literally goes right where I needed it to go. So all you do is fill this up with warm water, you spray it, still has a little water in it. And honestly, it feels good um, to put that water down there. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of soothes it a little bit and then you pat dry. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I got from the hospital um, is the Dermaplast spray. Honestly, you guys have probably seen this on a lot of postpartum videos because it really, really does help, especially with tears, cuts, whatever you want to call it. Um, it feels really cool down there and it's supposed to help with healing as well. Another thing that I got is the Tux cooling pads which I told you guys already that I don't like um but other people swear by them however they just weren't my cup of tea I don't like how they felt sitting down there and then they actually kind of burn a little bit I didn't like that um so I used these one time but I didn't like them um these are actually for hemorrhoids as you guys know they check you for hemorrhoids while you're in the hospital um and they don't tell you that you can get them while you're at home so i actually had postpartum hemorrhoids which they say is possible so i didn't have them in the hospital but after leaving the hospital i got them and they were terrible they weren't like little ones they were the real hemorrhoids okay and i had never had hemorrhoids like that in my life but it was serious we're not going to get into detail and she's woken up from her nap so let me hurry up with this video so pads i use the always infinity flex foam 
um and i really did like these i started off with a size five and now i'm in a size two um my flow has decreased tremendously um honestly i never was bleeding super duper heavy but comparing to what i was doing in the beginning now it's basically none i do have my six week checkup on friday say it's tuesday so in a few days um and that's when i know if i'm cleared to work out or do whatever um you know do whatever i'm not excited about that either i'm literally terrified but we'll get into detail about that in a second so um i also use the always discreet diapers so i used these before i switched to pads since my flow was a little bit heavier those were easier to put on and then since i was in um a lot of pain you know it was just comforting to have that thick cotton kind of sitting on me let me go and we're back Say hey to the camera. So my baby is five weeks. She's kind of going through some baby acne right now. So her skin is a little broken out, but we're working on it. Um, so to continue what I was saying. So um, yeah, always discreet diapers. Those are really comfortable to use. They have a very high absorbency. And um, I used those for about two weeks and then I switched to pads. Honestly, I was just kind of being lazy and they were like underwear. So I would like throw them on and didn't have to worry about what was going on in there. So um, one topic that I would like to discuss that I'm so nervous about is sex. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talk about postpartum sex. Um, however, I did watch a few videos and a lot of people have made me very nervous. Some people say it hurts. Some people say it literally feels like your first time all over again and just a whole bunch of stuff. And honestly, that's one subject that I am not excited about talking about or getting into. Um, just because I haven't been the most in the most sexual mood lately, you know. Um, with everything going on with my body and with how my body looks, me adjusting to my body, I am just not really feeling the sexual department. Um, I do have a husband and, you know, you do have to please your husband also. You know, you can't just let him sit around dry because you are going through whatever you're going through. So it's kind of a very complicated situation. Um, it's like you are trying to get used to what's going on with yourself but your husband loves you the way you are or however you are and it's just kind of um hard to explain to him that you feel like this because your body looks like this and da da da, da just a whole bunch of stuff so yeah that's i i know i made six weeks this week but i don't know when i'll be ready to um dig into those activities so yeah we're gonna save that for our two month postpartum update and i'll let you guys know how that went so i'm um, gonna go ahead and show you guys my one month postpartum body she is getting irritated so i'm trying to hurry up and finish this video um but yeah this is taking a lot of guts and i just want to throw that out there um anybody who shows their postpartum body y'all are amazing and so open because i am so nervous right now because i don't even look at myself like that so this is a video from when i was eight days postpartum i will insert that right here just to show you guys like a quick comparison of kind of how much my stomach has gone down um, I have lost 25 pounds. It does not look like it, nor do I feel like it, but I have. Um, and I gained 60 pounds. 60 pounds. You heard it right. Yes, 60. Through my, um, in my pregnancy. My pre-pregnancy weight was 143. I was a size 5 in jeans. And I ended my pregnancy weighing 209 pounds. And I don't know what size pants I wear because I'm too scared to even go shopping to put some on. I am not shopping for my size right now because I don't plan on being this size for a long time. So sweatpants and tights is what it is. So let me go ahead and show you guys this body. The way this girl can get fed and we can go to sleep. Right? Yes. All right. All right. So, as promised, I'm going to show you guys my one month postpartum body. So, let's do it. I am nervous, but yeah. 
I'm gonna show you guys the full. So one thing with my shirt off. So this is my body with my pants up. <laughs> so hiding the guts at the moment. As you guys can see, I still have a nice back row here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, so this is my one month postpartum. So you guys can see I have a nice amount of extra fat here. Um, a little bit of extra skin, uh, it's pretty jiggly, like a, yeah, pretty, yeah. Um, and just some stretch marks kind of right around this area of my stomach. Um, I do still have the line here and this is just a side view. This is a front view and this is a back view. So yeah, one month postpartum and that took so much guts and yeah, I might cry. So as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that took a lot of guts just to let y'all know. Um, I know postpartum is a very vulnerable subject for a lot of people just because women go through so much um, during pregnancy, but after pregnancy is just as much, if not more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go because she's getting fussy. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below um, and your post notifications so you guys never miss when I post a video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.